Hello boys. We may look a little to the history. Who is it before us? It is uh, Socrates. And who was he? He was a great philosopher. But no, it is rather a soldier or a mercenary. No, it was possible in the time of Socrates one could be a philosopher and in the same a soldier because in the 5th century before Christ the Athenians had no army. The citizens of Athens, the Athenians, had at home a battle dress and the arms it was a spear and a sword and in the case of the war they dressed the bat they dressed the battle dress and armored with spare and sword and went to the battle, went to the war. The fully armored citizen was called Hoplit, Hoplita, 
and when he went to the war, he poured it any covers for the night, he poured it a basket of the food, because uh, he had uh, to cook his meal, his food, over the fire. And every hoplit had a servant, a porter, who ported his bagage because uh, the first duty of hoplit was to fight, to be ready for the battle. And so it is uh, the answer for our question, how was it possible that a philosopher was at the same a soldier, a warrior? And it was Socrates.
in the fifth century before Christ and the hoplites and the hoplites made a formation for the war for the battle and it was phalanx they stood in a line with their shields that covered their flank and also the flank of the neighbor and every hoplite has a helmet and in this helmet it was unrecognizable who is who uh, so that when Socrates was in the helmet in the line of the hoplites nobody could recognize who is uh, who is Socrates and he had to fight uh, very hardly uh, because it was a slash for the life and for the death and we may also imagine uh, that uh, Socrates uh, could win such a duel and then his rival was lying on the ground, bleeding of the wounds that made him Socrates. And uh, <laughs> Socrates had to regle his conscience with this fact that he, philosoph, has killed a man. And it was uh, nothing simple. <laughs> Thank you. 
what he was so great philosoph as that he had to respond it yes because we see here that the spares protruded protruded uh, through the shields for the attack and for the defense and when a fighter could not fight with the spear he took his sword and that it was a duel of the swords <laughs> So it was possible in the 5th century uh, that uh, Socrates, great philosopher, was also a soldier, a warrior, because it was the reality, it was the reality of the 
life. His duty was uh, to defend Athens, to defend his city, to defend his family, his life, and to do all what was needed for the war. So it is the answer for the question, how was it possible that a great philosopher was a warrior?